This is Dolan TV, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another edition of Edmonton Oilers Discussion here on Labor Day Monday. And let me tell you, I can officially update you as of my drive into Airdrie this afternoon, this morning, whatever it was. Well, the snow has fallen. You know, I live in southern Alberta. We get crazy weather down here. It's September 7th, and I spotted my first bunch of snowflakes for 2020. 21. Winter. Hockey season. Whatever. All right. Either way, you know what? We got uh, we got some stuff to talk about today in terms of a couple guys playing over there in Russia for Lokomotiv Yaroslavl or Lok HC Lokomotiv, whichever you go by. I'm, I'm 100% not sure which one they actually formally go by. However, when I mention that name, you would be most acquainted to an Oilers goaltending prospect who's 22 years old. We took him in the third round in the 2019 entry draft, and we have hopefully high hopes for this guy to come over and do something for us, but he is probably the most under-the-radar goaltending prospect, the least talked-about goalie prospect within the Edmonton Oilers organization, Ilya Konovalov. Now, here's the thing. We don't have a lot to talk about in terms of Oilers hockey right now. But what we do have to talk about is the guys over in Russia. For instance, Dmitry Samarukov scoring the first goal of the KHL season, being named a player of the week. All of a sudden, oh my goodness, that's probably the most we've talked about Dmitry Samarukov in a weekend in a long, long time. Honestly, straight up, right? So, Dmitry Samarukov aside, another guy doing excellent things is Ilya Konovalov, who had a very good start. I believe he's playing today as well. We'll get those results in a bit. And all of a sudden, we've got a very interesting two guys to watch. Well, don't forget, you've also got Kirill Maximov, and you've also, I think, Maximov and and Dineshkin. Maxim Dineshkin is another guy you have to watch. I don't think he's playing major KHL hockey. I think he's playing MHL or VHL this year, but keep him in mind as well. But... The interesting thing, part, whatever you want to say, about this KHL thing for us is who else is attached to said teams that we have guys playing on. For instance, CSK Moscow, right? I think there's some ties there. But the team we're going to focus on is Ilya Konovalov's HC Lokomotiv or Lokomotiv Yaroslavl. And that is going to bring us to two Swedish forwards, both 29 years old, who happen to be, well, guys that are former Oilers. Mm, see, this is the fun part about the KHL. There's a lot of former Oilers rejects, or whatever you want to call them. Guys, we ran out of town over there playing hockey, and those two guys would be Anton Lander and Magnus PRV Svensson. Wow, okay. Now we're talking an era of Oilers hockey that perks up a lot of our ears, because that was uh, an interesting part of Oilers history right there. You talk about those 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, 17 seasons. Yeah, okay, all right, all right. You know where I'm heading. Anton Lander, Magnus PRV Svensson, maybe a little sooner than that, being that they're 29 years old and stuff like that. But you know what? That, that brings up an interesting chapter in Oilers history. But why? Why would you even want to focus on those guys when you've got such a stud in net like Ilya Konovalov who should be garnering all the attention from Oilers fans when it comes to this hockey team in the KHL? Because my friends, this is exactly where you can allow things to kind of come full circle. Is That is the thing. We've got all eyes on a select few teams in Europe where our prospects our young guys are playing this season until the NHL is ready for them. Now, Ilya Konovalov is not one of those guys. Ilya Konovalov is just a very good goalie in the KHL that we have the rights to because of the NHL draft in 2019. And yes, that's exciting, that's great, and you know what? we got to make sure we pay attention to him a lot more this year than we did last year. I did him in all the prospect updates videos I did last season, but no, this year is the big year because I believe his contract is up and he will be free to come on over to, yes, his contract's up after the end of this year. He'll be free to come on over to the AHL or the NHL or wherever we see him fit to play in the Oilers organization going into 21-22. Now, okay, you've got all eyes on Konovalov. Well, somebody's got to make him look good. 
And in the season opener, it was Magnus P.R.V. Svensson, who is also, oh, just look at this, go to the KHL English Twitter page, and Magnus P.R.V. Svensson, two goals, two assists, in week one of KHL action for four points. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Suddenly, hmm, hmm, okay. Oilers fans paying attention and they see that. Now, does that do anything for you as an Oilers fan? It kind of does something for me. It kind of makes me go, hmm, you know what? If we could get him on a note clause because his contract's up 2021, same with Anton Lander. So if you're looking to kind of build a little bit of uh, depth around the Oilers in 21-22, it might be of, we you know, watching what an Anton Lander and a Magnus P.R.V. Spenson do coming up this year with Ilya Konovalov in net behind them. Now, obviously, yes, I'm, I'm not talking these guys are going to move the needle or these guys are going to change the franchise forever because they've already had their chance to. But these are guys that if they were willing to come back to the NHL, you're going to have had eyes on them for an entire season of KHL hockey if uh, if they don't have Oklahoma and they stay there. I don't know if there's different rules around that for the guys that I think have been there for a while. I, I couldn't tell you, but... It is what it is, right? Is you know what? If you're going to keep eyes on Konovalov, you might as well keep eyes on two guys that have some NHL experience, especially for your NHL team as well. If you're Jim Ken Holland and the scouts of the Edmonton Oilers, so it's just something more or less a miniature storyline that might absolutely be nothing. But at this point, guys, we need the stories that are nothing to get us through this. NHL postponement until December 1st, December 15th, January 1st, whenever the NHL season starts due to who knows what other complications are about to come our way. So that's something to keep in mind is the fact that as Oilers fans, yes, all eyes on Lokomotiv Yaroslav are on the crease for Ilya Konovalov who is doing some monstrous things in his seasons in the KHL so far and we drafted him so we have the rights. But another two guys to keep in mind, Magnus P.R.V. Svensson and Anton Lander, because Magnus P.R.V. Svensson, if you're looking for that cheap option on the left wing, Svensson, P.R.V. Svensson, whatever you want to say, P.R.V. may be the answer. He had 19 points in 39 games played with Locomotive last year. This year, he's already got four points in two games. So you tell me if that ain't a little bit of a bright spot. And he hasn't been in the NHL since his 19-point effort in 80 games with the Ottawa Senators. Keep in mind, last season he matched that in 39 games with Locomotive of the KHL. And he's been a full-time NHLer all the way since 17, 18, 18, 19. So he played back-to-back -back seasons full-time in the NHL and then went to Russia and has subsequently signed an extension deal with Lokomotiv Yaroslav. So, that's one to watch right there. And then, of course, there is Anton Lander. Let's just go double-check Mr. Anton Lander. Ooh, clicked on something there, Vistaprint. Okay, good thing it was Vistaprint. As Anton Lander, go over to him. He's been over in the KHL since... 2017-18 after our 16-17 season. He wore an A for the Aroslav last season. He has a goal in two games already this year and 31 points in 53 games played last season with the Aroslav. So just, just kind of a miniature storyline to keep our eyes on while we keep our eyes in Locomotive for Ilya Konovalov. Because right, if you're looking for depth options next season, is you're going to have scouted these guys anyway. Even if you didn't mean to scout these guys, you're going to have scouted Piari Svensson and Lander once again. And if you're looking for de cheap depth options going into next season, especially if they're willing to work their way back up the NHL, you could get it right. And I mean, hey, everybody's open arms all of a sudden to get it right with yes, Apuliarvi. Why not get it right with Magnus Piari Svensson, who deservedly so deserves just as much of a homecoming and a reunion and a way to get it done as a guy like Yes Puliarvi does because I'm sorry, Magnus Puliarvi Svensson, no matter what you think of the guy in his time in Edmonton, again, another guy that didn't get a fair shake, so give him a chance. And again, Anton Lander, same degree, uh, although he stuck around a lot longer than I think any of us ever thought he would. So ladies and gentlemen, that's just a miniature storyline. Maybe I'm uh, making it up. Maybe I'm not. Who knows? I guess we've got a whole season of KHL hockey or less or more.
Find out if it ever comes to truth. Two 29-year-old Swedes playing for Lokomotiv Yaroslavl in front of our huge goaltending prospect in the KHL, Mr. Ilya Konovalov. Guys, I'm Tyson. This is All on TV. Thanks so much for tuning in. I will catch you in the next one.